here's how I display my scenes. We've got Indiana Jones, E.T., Full House, Stranger Things, Comic Center of Pasadena, and of course, the Dark Horse. Unbelievable. Wow. You, those are miniature replicas of classic TV sitcom sets from Friends to Frasier to Full House and movie sets too. You saw it all there. Los Angeles artist Bridget McCarty is going viral on social media for her amazing work. And Bridget joins us now to tell us all about it. Bridget, how are you? Hey. hey. So how did this start? They look like it, it, it reminds me of the dioramas you used to make when you were in school, but obviously there is a lot of skill. And how did you figure out you were going to go full blown into this? Well, I did used to get straight A's when I built dioramas in class. So I think that was just going to be in my future no matter what. But it's uh, it's just a passion of mine. And I just started the sitcoms about a year and a half ago because I thought, hey, people need to see some of their favorite TV shows done in miniature. Yeah, there is a huge miniatures convention this week in Chicago. I didn't realize it was a thing. Why are people fascinated by shrinking the world down in front of them? Yeah, it's an obsession for sure. And the biggest convention is this coming weekend in Chicago at the Chicago Marriott O'Hare. And if people want to attend, it's uh, bishopshow.com and you could come on a public day because the preview tickets are totally sold out because that's how obsessed the collectors are. They get up and they're in line at 4 a.m. So is this, I mean, are you making everything we see on these sets or are you going to like the dollhouse stores and getting stuff to fill it? Uh, sometimes I buy pieces that are already made, but I modify them, paint them. It saves me a little bit of time, but a lot of the stuff is woodworking, cutting, paper, printing. There's all kinds of skills that go into this. Wow. And you, this is your full-time job, right? How much can you get for a set of friends? Would you sell it? Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's in the thousands. Um, I do commissions and I'm just really busy with the studios. They asked me to do um, ads for them for their upcoming films and shows and I've been really busy with that. Yeah, and I understand why any art can be fun for an artist to do, but, but why are people drawn to the miniature? What does it do for them psychologically that this has become such a big craze? Um, I would say people just kind of have to zoom in so much to something so adorable and cute that you kind of just forget about your surroundings. So I would say it's even better than meditation. <laughs> Unreal. So yeah, I, I, I don't want to brag, but I, I did make a, a miniature friend set out of Legos. Uh, you know, I, that came with a kit, though. So yeah. do you sell like, do you tell people how to do this? Like, you know, here's a kit on how to make a mini friend set. Um, it's a little bit complex, so I would have to write a really long list of how to make it, but my videos show kind of a um, 30 to 60 second way of how I make it. Um, but yeah, it can be a pretty time consuming process. I don't use kits. I design everything on my own. Wow. There's the set of Frasier, I think. Pretty amazing. Yeah. I mean, really that unbelievable. And that's a full time job for you now, wow. right? Oh, definitely. Wow. Listen, if you make the Brady Bunch set, give me a call. I'd be interested. I will. <laughs> right on my mantle. <laughs> God, you're such a, really a young guy, Larry. Well, you're really I like dating what I like. yourself there. All right, you can catch Bridget this weekend at the Chicago International Dollhouse and Miniature Show, as she mentioned, at the Marriott Chicago O'Hare. For more information, head to bishopshow.com. You can also follow Bridget on social media, and that's where you'll find her. Thanks, Bridget. Thanks, Bridget. Thank you.